Mark chapter 3. He entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there who had his hand withered. They watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. He said to the man who had his hand withered, Stand up. He said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath day to do good or to do harm, to save a life or to kill? But they were silent. When he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved at the hardening of their hearts, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored as healthy as the other. The Pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. Jesus withdrew to the sea with his disciples, and a great multitude followed him from Galilee, from Judea, from Jerusalem, from Idumea, beyond the Jordan, and those from around Tyre and Sidon. A great multitude, hearing what great things he did, came to him. He spoke to his disciples that a little boat should stay near him because of the crowd, so that they wouldn't press on him. For he had healed many, so that as many as had diseases pressed on him, that they might touch him. The unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, fell down before him and cried, You are the Son of God! He sternly warned them that they should not make him known. He went up into the mountain and called to himself those whom he wanted, and they went to him. He appointed twelve, that they might be with him, and that he might send them out to preach, and to have authority to heal sicknesses, and to cast out demons. They were Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he called Bonerges, which means sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Then he came into a house. The multitude came together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. When his friends heard it, they went out to seize him, for they said, He is insane! The scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebub, and by the prince of the demons he casts out the demons. He summoned them and said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. If Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he can't stand, but has an end. But no one can enter into the house of a strong man to plunder unless he first binds the strong man. Then he will plunder his house. Most certainly I tell you, all sins of the descendants of man will be forgiven, including their blasphemies with which they may blaspheme. But whoever may blaspheme against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation, because they said he has an unclean spirit. His mother and his brothers came, and standing outside they sent to him, calling him. A multitude was sitting around him, and they told him, Behold, your mother, your brothers, and your sisters are outside looking for you. He answered them, Who are my mother and my brothers? Looking around at those who sat around him, he said, Behold, my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, and my mother.